All right, class, I just wanted to discuss the compare and contrast essay with you just a little bit. You know, before we left, we looked at the assignment sheet, and it's still all there in your email and in D2L. Uh, but if you, uh, you know, worry about, uh, you know, filling up the space, um, just be aware of this. You need to really worry about packing in as much as you can, being very precise and exact with your language and not wasting a lot of words. Don't use 10 words uh, when one will do. Don't use you know, uh, you know, three or four adjectives and adverbs when a, when a more uh, precise noun or verb that implies the same information will do. So, you know, you're going to really have to try to pack in as much as you can because there's so much to talk about with the leavers and takers. Uh, so just to go over that real quick, some things you can talk about in your essay and hopefully you can get to everything. Uh, you know, and without it sounding like a list, you want to organize things so that they have a flow. Okay, you know, organize them into concepts. But here are some of the many things that you can discuss. You can discuss the lever story and the tegger story, you know, the beginning, middle, and end, and what it results in, and uh, how they're different and what, uh, what it produces. Um, you can talk about their different ways, levers and takers, ways of practicing law or social rules. You know, the way that it takes us many years to change a law, a long time, we never agree. And whether or not these laws actually work versus the way levers typically do things, which results in, you know, hardly any crime. You can discuss both of their, you know, their relationship to the earth and its inhabitants. You can discuss their philosophies on the right way to live or whether or not we are flawed. You can talk about the way they're depicted in the Old Testament through, uh, sorry, this typo there, Cain and Abel and Jacob and Esau, Samson and Delilah, Abram, you know, all those characters that are represented in the book and how, you know, these characters symbolically could either be a lever or a taker. Uh, you could talk about, you know, their daily lives, their work day, you know, the crime, drug abuse, sickness, mental health, how, you know, you got a lot of that with takers, but hardly any with levers and why. Um, you can talk about how they interact with other people not of their cultures. Right? You can talk about how they have historically traveled or have traveled limited, um, the way they view agriculture. Uh, you can talk about, for instance, the story of Cain and Abel. Sorry, that my autocorrect must have messed up Abel. Uh, but my, the story of Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and what they mean from uh, the two different perspectives. You know, the idea of original sin being civilization and how that's apparent in both of these stories. Um, and you can talk about in the book how they symbolize, you know, like levers are associated with the gorilla, but takers are associated with the narrator and where that comes across and why it does. Um, and, uh, you know, the imagery associated with each one. You can also dis discuss how the allegories relate to either group. You know, sometimes in allegories, you've got two sets of gods and, you know, some of them don't go along with the plan, and some of them do. And um, you know, so you can also discuss those things. Uh, but I just thought that this kind of list may be helpful for those of you who are struggling to figure out something to write about.